To begin disassembly, the first step is to turn the battery key forward, rotate the battery lock finger to the side, and remove the battery. Next, use an M3 Allen wrench to remove the black plastic guard on the left side of the 5-way and an M4 hexagonal wrench to remove the fixing screws of the controller on the frame. Use wire cutters to cut the cable tie of the motor wire, separate the motor wire of the controller from the connecting wire of the motor body, and unplug the booster wire, headlight horn wire, etc. from the controller. The next step involves using an M3 Allen wrench to loosen the fixing screws on the battery base. First, carefully detach the headlight horn wire with the small red connector, follow by removing the main wire, disconnecting it along with the motor wire. Unplug the two connectors from the headlight horn front wiring harness linking the relay and the controller. Finally, dismantle the controller completely by removing the taillight wire attached to it. The initial step in the installation process involves transferring the new controller and fixing the aluminum from the old controller to the new one. Ensure the motor line is threaded through the bottom bracket to the rear fork and connected to the main line, black.
utilize screws to secure the components in place, using an M4 Allen wrench to attach the controller to the frame. Insert the wire connector into the center of the bottom bracket and use an M3 Allen wrench to secure the left cover of the bottom bracket. Moving on to the second step, connect the controller's XT60 power connector to the battery base's XT60 connector. Secure the battery base with an M3 Allen wrench and connect the controller motor line to the motor main line connector. Fasten it with a cable tie, trim off any excess and install the battery. For more information, please visit cyrusher.com.